So the night sweats came fairly early on and they're drenching night sweats. They're not, you know, you just feel a bit sweaty. You wake up and you are drenched. But I was of a certain age. And so I thought that I was possibly starting the menopause. So that wasn't really a cause for concern at that point for me personally. And then the fevers I felt were just part and parcel of the repeated infections that I was getting. And because they weren't lasting for very long, I felt like my body was fighting whatever it was that was causing them quite well until very late on just before my diagnosis where it couldn't do it on its own anymore and and the fevers were getting quite quite bad i woke up in the middle of the night absolutely caked in sweat and i remember thinking like it's summer holidays so like we're in july now it's late july it's warm the window was open it was a warm night there was a bit of breeze coming through the window but you know as a 14 year old boy nothing to worry about I've woken up sweaty like we're all sweaty teenagers at some point in our life um and basically put it back in mind and just thought let's just ignore that and pretend that nothing happened and I didn't even think about it anymore really from there so the duvet is is soaked you're soaked it's like you've just been like someone's thrown cold water over you um and it's it, it always sort of wakes you up really quickly and you're like what, what was going on why am I soaking um Again, as a 14 year old boy, it's the summer holidays. Like, I just ignore it, nothing's happening. And it wasn't until sort of like two or three weeks in summer holidays that I started thinking, right, something can't be right here. When I had the very nasty infection, it was, it was really beastly. Um, during that time, I also had quite a few night sweats, three or four, or something like that. Funnily enough, after the diagnosis, I didn't have them again. But they were, they were awful. I <laughs> wake up absolutely drenched and having to go and get a towel to lie on and so on. And you think, oh, this is not very nice. Changing the sheets every time. Um, it's an absolute palaver. I just thought, oh, I'm getting very hot. I, 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 it didn't cross my mind that night sweats were a signal of anything or a symptom. 